Ford problems, will you be affected? So before you go ahead and cancel your Ford order, let's cover a few important things. Now I'm covering this, I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, and I'm covering this because I've been getting it in the comments recently that people have given up on their Maverick order or their Bronco order. And I just wanna cover things, two main reasons people give up on their order well, let's talk about that, the two main reasons. So the type of comment that we've been getting really, and you, you, we see these on Maverick Truck Club as well. Big part, first of all, this is new, and that's people canceling because, well, they see newer orders, really orders from just this year, from you know the last wave that was opened up you know, last month, and they're seeing people getting selected given build dates in December. So let's cover what's going on here. Really two things are going on. First of all, dealers are responsible, so not for, dealers are responsible for putting the correct priority code on the carryovers. So that's people that ordered back in November for a hybrid, so before November 17th for a hybrid, and you're a carryover. If you ordered after November 17th, 2021 in a hybrid, you're not a carryover. You're what we could call a pre-order. And basically, when order banks opened in October, that's when your order officially went into Ford for the very first time. So you, my friend, are a new order. Now, if you're an EcoBoost, January 27th was that sold out status date. So after February 27th, sorry, January 27th, 2022, you're if you got you know given an, an order really all you did is do a pre-order with your dealer your dealer could not send that over to ford so it stayed on their internal list and you were put in a certain order so if you're a carryover within the correct dates then yeah you could very fairly be frustrated to see newer people get built and if you're after those dates well the thing is is that you're a brand new order. As much as, you know, if you ordered back in March, April, May, you might feel like you're a carryover, but you're just not a carryover. You're a brand new order as of October. Now, who's getting picked and being built? Well, really, really simple builds. So an XLT with, you know, nothing added or an XL or a straight Lariat could very well get built in December or January before a carryover. Those are those that order before those sold out dates. And what can you do while you can make your order simpler if you want to get it sooner? Now there's a whole different problem. Dealers, when they carried over those orders that made those deadlines, they needed to priority code them 10 or 11, and they need to put in the new orders, either pre-orders from let's say March, April, or May, June, July, or completely new orders, walk-ins from October or September. So, they need to put these priority codes after 10 or 11 so Ford can easily see who's new and who's not. And also the dealer needs to keep the old order in the system, have it stay there and let Ford see that, you know, this is, there's an old order and now there's a new order. So that's what's going on there. So yeah, there will be some frustration where simpler orders can be put forward, but what we can do as people waiting, like Marie Pierre, if she wanted to get her Maverick built sooner, she needs to drop the, the luxury package. Uh, so the Ford is doing what they can. They've helped out by removing the bed liner, the, the drop in bed liner, and a few other things like the remote start and the sliding rails. They've removed those from the XLT luxury package and they've made the Lariat luxury package a little less high tech. So the troublesome added on co-pilot stuff, that's now added on. So, you know, you want your adaptive cruise control, you need to go to a co-pilot plus, not just grabbing the Lariat. So that's that. Now, another reason people are switching over, and I, I do, I must say, I've test driven the Maverick several times. It's a fantastic truck, not just for the price. Let's forget price, it's a fantastic truck. The fact that the price is what it is, it's really top. I find it's really a top, top, top contender in the small truck segment or reasonably sized truck segment. I really don't see anything being as good as this. So what can you do? Well, one thing you can do to make sure you don't 
want to cancel and maybe cancel is make sure you get it in writing what your dealer is going to do for you when this vehicle shows up. Now we talked about those deadlines, November 17th, 2021 for the hybrid, January 27th for the EcoBoost 2022. If you made those deadlines for your Maverick order, so that means you're a real carryover while your interest rate will be locked in. Now do keep in mind it's important to know what credit you have because the only time a dealership won't be able to freeze that initial interest rate when you ordered is if your credit isn't very good. So it's important to know what your credit score is so you're prepared. So your bank can help you out with that. There's also applications and websites that can also help you out with that, but do be careful. I personally use uh, one, but anyways, I'm not gonna push or suggest any one particular, but be careful, do your research, find out who you can use safely to know what your credit score is. Now, if your credit is okay, well then you should be getting, absolutely be getting that interest rate because some people are canceling their Maverick or their Bronco order because, or F-150, when it shows up, they're being told that the interest rate, for example, on Maverick Truck Club, one individual was being told his interest rate would be 10%. So what can you do? Well, you need to fight that with your dealer. Uh, you need to tell them, no, you know, prove to me, show me my credit score, show me that, you know, I've got a 400 or a 500 or, you know, relatively not great credit, have them show it to you. Because if your credit is anywhere half decent, even a little bit below average, you need to get that original interest rate. So don't take the 10% that they're offering you. That means they're going to either finance you in-house or go with a bank. They're trying to make extra money. Make sure you get that initial interest rate. You might have to call Ford on this customer uh, service. Call customer service if you have to, but try to work it out with the dealership. Ask them specifically, why don't I have my initial because interest rate? Because they can easily lock that in. Basically, when they go to apply for your interest rate, they need to say that it is a reserved interest rate uh, promo. They just put in the month that you ordered. So remind them, hey, I ordered this month. They just need to put in the system that you ordered X month. And the system, obviously, it's going to accept it. And then they just need to claim that with Smart Vincent. And that's how you get your interest rate. Because don't be fooled one or two percent you know the person on maverick truck club they're at ten percent then they're offered today's interest of 5.9 and originally they ordered under the 3.9 financing 3.9 percent to 5.9 percent will save you thousands so i'm going to be doing a show this is a quick one it's just a recap of the friday night live not the whole show just about a fifth, 20, 25% of the show, really the most important, crucial part that I need to get this information out to you to save you thousands. So I will be trying to save you thousands because coming up, I'll do another episode where I actually talk about the impact of interest rates and what one or 2% can really do on your overall car payment because you will pay thousands more it might not seem that much when you look at, oh, well, you know, the payment's $25 more per month but you will pay thousands more and I wanna save you thousands. So don't miss out, like and subscribe so you get all the important information and if you don't wanna miss out, do hit the little bell icon saying that you wanna be notified when we have either a live or a planned show like this one where it's edited. But in the meantime, I wish you all more cars and more power. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Thank you for helping to feed and dress those poodles. And until next time, have a fantastic week. I'll see you all over on Tim Bart's Long MacArthur YouTube channel uh, just right after this one. Take care and see you soon.